The congratulations are coming in fast and furious from uh, world leaders, but let's start off with the U.S.'s northern neighbor, Canada. The Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, extended his and his country's uh, congratulations. This is somebody who has often butted heads with Donald Trump. Here in Europe, at last count, 24 of the 27 EU leaders had extended their congratulations. The French President, Emmanuel Macron, said in a tweet that the Americans have chosen their president. We have a lot to do to overcome today's challenges. Let's work together. Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, saying that she looks forward to working with President Biden, that our transatlantic friendship is indispensable when we want to tackle the great challenges of our times. And UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who is a close ally of President Trump, extended his congratulations, saying he looks forward to working closely on shared priorities from climate change to trade to security. And there really is this sense here in Europe that this could be a fresh start for the EU-US relationship, which has come under immense strain over the past four years. Joe Biden is somebody who shares a lot of the same values as Europeans. He supports globalization. He understands the power of multilateralism when it comes to tackling some of the world's greatest uh, challenges. And he's already pledged to bring the United States back into the par Paris climate accord and tackling climate change is one of the main objectives for a lot of the governments here in Europe. But of course, he is not going to be the cure-all for the U.S.-EU relationship. He is somebody who is quite hesitant to commit U.S. troops to foreign engagements, which could put him at odds with some of his NATO allies. He's also expected to keep the pressure on Europe to hit those defense spending targets for NATO. Um, and this, the way in which this election has panned out has left a lot of people in Europe quite cautious. This was by no means a landslide victory. It wasn't the repudiation of Trumpism that a lot of Europeans were uh, hoping to see. Some of the margins have been very, very close, that, which means that the things that drove Trump into office in the first place aren't going anywhere. And so European leaders, while they're handing out these congratulations, are still uh, very cautious and very much still focused on one of their own objectives, which is to make Europe more self-reliant. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Brussels.